Aaron Miller, welcome to Australia. You're the Executive Director with Space ISAC, uh, and we're here at the second Australian Space Cyber Forum. Welcome to Adelaide. Thank you. So glad to be here. Wonderful. Uh, now, this is your first visit. Uh, Space ISAC, you've been going for a few years, but you know some might be surprised that really you'd only sort of joined the ISAC community in 2020 officially. Uh, but we are dealing with some fundamental threats and risks uh, within this domain. Maybe introduce us to Space ISAC and uh, then we'll sort of go into your MOU signing today with the Australian Cyber Collaboration Centre. Yes. Yeah, today's been a big day. Uh, we have been working towards this for a while now. So Space ISAC stood up in 2019 and then we went uh, and opened general membership in 2020, as you said. And in 2023, we opened our watch center. So we are an operational public-private partnership with the mission to share threat and vulnerability information across the global space community. And we do that primarily through our watch center. And that watch center uses online resources and tools to reach the global space community. And we've had members from the very beginning from Australia and been working with the rest of the global space community for some time now. And you're based in Colorado Springs, so almost the center, center of the world, as uh, some might say, in terms of the space community. And you were officially launched, or it was an outcome from the Space Symposium in Colorado? Yeah, there was a Space Symposium in 2019 where we made a big announcement Prior to that, there were uh, research studies that were undertaken to determine whether or not we needed a space ISAC. And so, uh, chaired by NASA, there's a group called the s Partnership Forum, which is an interagency collective that made an assessment and determination that we had to break down the silos of threat and vulnerability sharing for the space community. That announcement was made at Space Symposium, you're absolutely right. And we continue to use that forum, Space Symposium, one of the largest gatherings in the world, I think. Um, for the space community to showcase our watch center and to talk about threats and vulnerabilities. And then we do have an annual summit ourselves uh, called the Value of Space Summit on okay. September 25th. Nice. Um, you've signed an MOU with the Australian Cyber Collaboration Centre. Uh, a couple of questions here. One is, is that the first sort of agreement that you've signed of that kind in Australia? And then maybe the sort of the framework of that MOU, what, what the purpose is? Absolutely. First in Australia, A3C is officially our partner and we did that under an MOU so that we could identify a few different ways we'd work together. So we'll do bi-directional threat information sharing with our watch center, but we're also heavily focused on small and medium-sized businesses and the workforce. And I think that A3C is a perfect partner for us to keep working here in South Australia and really partner closely with the community and understand how we can raise our overall understanding of cybersecurity, space, and intelligence working together. How different would you say space is? Uh, there's a number of other ISACs around. Uh, do you find it really does stand out on its own? Uh, or, and maybe yeah, what highlights uh, space different to other critical infrastructure sectors? Yeah, being the space ISAC, we've had ongoing conversations about whether or not space is itself a critical infrastructure, whether it's a domain, what is the meaning really of protecting a space system? And what it boils down to, I think, is that humans are just really fascinated with space. <laughs> and so we get really focused on looking up at the skies and thinking of the domain. But the challenge is cybersecurity is centered around a system and physical infrastructure. And all of that space system when you start to qualify it, is actually underpinning every other critical infrastructure sector. So our entire way of life is wrapped up into the success of the security around our space systems. And having the next generation of workers in Australia understand that and having them excited to solve cybersecurity for space problems is a huge priority for us. Um, we are headquartered in the US and working with Australia under the AUKUS arrangement is a high priority. What's a good call to action? Uh, it's the first time being in Australia, it's great to see you here. What would be a call to action to both the Australian space community but also the cybersecurity community? Well, I would suggest if you're part of a university, then start looking at your cybersecurity curriculum and first, can it be interdisciplinary and bridge across the different STEM programs but also the non-STEM programs, liberal arts and sciences for example. And then 
think, can we add space to this? Because the future workforce has to understand this highly interconnected, interdisciplinary approach to protecting our space systems and understand how the attacks against this infrastructure are being leveraged against attacks against other infrastructure and the multi-domain, domain, uh, multi-faceted nature of it. How confident or into the future are you of the space domain? Uh, it's a critical function. We're hearing more and more of the importance and the dependencies. Uh, that was that's the main message out of today so far. Is how dependent we are on space. How confident are you into the future uh, that there won't be uh, continued cybersecurity incidents, or is it something that we should to expect? And it's really the key word being resilience uh, into the future. Well, the infrastructure that we produce is made by humans and or machines that were inspired by humans. <laughs> so we have to figure out how to identify the vulnerabilities early and design our systems to be flight tested and flight proven before they go off. And doing that is a proactive endeavor. So I'm highly confident that we'll make our way to a trillion dollar global space economy as predicted. Uh, there's massive movements underway to produce satellites more rapidly, more efficiently, and get them launched more quickly. And as this uh, growth pattern continues, we have to incorporate, and the C-suite especially, has to incorporate a security mindset into everything that they do. Well, look, it's still amazing to me, uh, I think I've been around too long, is that we're at the second, uh, only the second, Australian Space Cyber Forum, which sounds like a very low number, and uh, we've only been hearing from Space ISAC since 2019, so around about five years. So, as you say, we're heading towards a trillion dollar industry. It's a big challenge in front of us, uh, but uh, obviously, uh, now we're talking cyber security, uh, it's a critical sector. So, Erin Miller, Executive Director with Space ISAC, thanks for, so much for uh, flying all that way here to Adelaide, uh, signing an MOU with uh, the Australian Cyber Collaboration Centre. So obviously uh, there's much more to, to watch out for here. And thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thank you.